Edutainment Studios welcomes you to Managing Lupus, Coping with the Symptoms. This module is part one of a four-part series on managing your lupus and coping with the symptoms. Lupus is a chronic inflammatory disease that occurs when the body's immune system attacks its own tissues and organs. Inflammation caused by lupus can affect many different body systems. The objective of this course is to define the basic information about lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease. This means that your immune system attacks healthy parts of the body by mistake instead of attacking things that could be harmful to you, like viruses. These attacks can cause inflammation or swelling and can cause damage to almost any part of your body, such as joints, brain, skin, kidneys, heart, or lungs. Lupus can be difficult to diagnose because its signs and symptoms often mimic those of other ailments. The most distinctive sign of lupus is a facial rash that resembles the wings of a butterfly unfolding across both cheeks. This can occur in many but not all cases of lupus. Some people are born with a tendency towards developing lupus, which may be triggered by infections, certain drugs, or even sunlight. While there's no cure for lupus, there are treatments that can help control the symptoms. There are many types of lupus, and each type can cause different symptoms. Systemic lupus erythematosus is the most common and can affect many parts of the body. Other forms of lupus only affect the skin and cause rashes and sores. Let's discuss how it affects the different parts of your body. It affects the kidneys by increasing the risk of kidney damage and failure. The signs may include nausea, fatigue, and swelling in the legs. It affects the brain by causing memory and communication problems. Signs may include headaches, dizziness, and behavior changes. It affects the lungs by making breathing painful and could lead to chest pain, shortness of breath, and trouble breathing. It affects the blood vessels by affecting the blood flow or vasculitis and increases the risk of atherosclerosis or the hardening of the arteries, heart attack, and stroke. It can affect the heart both on the inside, which is myocarditis and endocarditis, or the area around the heart, called pericarditis. It can cause chest pain and damage to the heart valves. Please feel free to investigate these other sites for more information and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part one of this four-part series on managing your lupus and come back for part two.